So in this series of videos, I'm going to be going over a bunch of games um, that are essentially web games or sequencing games, um, but they also have conditional rules. Okay, so we have to understand some conditional reasoning and how that's going to interact with the other rules in a sequencing game. Okay, so I'm going to start with game four from Prep Test 25, and you can see I've already um, done, done the um, the work for the for the diagram for the setup. I just forgot to press uh, record, so um, I'll just go over it now. Um, so these are our players here. We have three ballads and four dance tunes. You'll notice that the ballads are uppercase letters and the dance tunes are lowercase. I do that on purpose so that there is like a quick visual that tells me um, that I, how to differentiate between them. Um, so the other thing that kind of makes that work in my favor is that usually on the LSAT, uh, when they have groups of players, those, the letters that are in a particular group together are sort of in the same part of the alphabet. So, um, like with a lot of subset games, the first set of players is going to be kind of in this range, right? Like, you know, you're going to get used to seeing capital F, capital G, capital H, and then um, the next set of players will be lowercase, and then usually the players after that I would um, have in like a lowercase cursive. Um, so with just two, then I would just do upper and lowercase, but if we had three subsets, then yeah, upper, lower, and cursive. Um, yeah, so that's what I like to do. Some people prefer to do subscripts. So what you could do is you could have F with a subscript B, G, B, H, B, and then R, subscript D, S, D, V, D, and X, D. Um, so I find that this is faster and um, a lot less uh, cramped, I guess, but for some people it's just, it's confusing. Um, I think that for most people, if you're able to just practice it a bit with a bunch of subs subset games, then um, you would probably be fine. Um, but that's, yeah, that's not going to be the case for everyone. So you just got to find what works best for you. All right, so enough of that. Um, the first rule is that no dance tune can be immediately after um, another dance tune. So we can't have any dance tunes side by side. After every dance tune, we've got to have a ballad, um, and so we end up with this sequence, okay? Um, so we end up not being able to have any ballads beside any other ballads because the ballads have to act as buffers between the dance tunes, okay? Uh, rule two, H has to be earlier than V. Makes sense. Um, rule three, V and S have to be separated from each other by exactly one song. We don't know what order they appear in, so I'm going to show both options. Okay, um, rule four, S has to be immediately before or immediately after F. And rule five is probably the trickiest one. This is where we get the conditional reasoning. Um, so you'll see here I've equated the word unless to the phrase if not, um, and then I've translated that. So whenever I see unless, I just sub in if it is not the case that, so here I see it unless, I'm gonna start the sentence there and say, if it is not the case that G is earlier than R. So in this case, that would mean if R is earlier than G, because those are um, the only two options, right? Either G is earlier than R or R is earlier than G, because it's not possible that they're tied. In this game, it's one after another, none of them are at the same time. So, um, these are just equivalent ways of saying the same thing. So, um, yeah, if it's not the case that G is earlier than R, then F must be played immediately after R. Right? And then the contrapositive is if F isn't immediately after R, then G has to be before R. Now, this here is not equivalent to F being immediately before R. That one I can't just flip because it's also possible that F is sometime before R or um, that F is like a minimum of one space away from R. And actually in this game, 
it would be a minimum of two spaces because uh, we actually would have to have um, like a ballad and then another dance tune and then um, then we could have F again, right? So we would have to have at least two spaces in between. But uh, yeah, that's just too much to write out. So in this case, I would just stick with the negation, right? So the options for R and F aren't summed up in just R is immediately before F or R is immediately after F. So hopefully that makes sense and doesn't make things more confusing. Um, yeah, so for this one, I'm just gonna go through one question. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm actually gonna do question 21. Okay. So which one of the following could be the fourth song in the sequence? So the fourth song has to be a ballad. Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, uh, the fourth song has to be a ballad. The only ballad in this list is A, G. All right, let's do another question. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so 22 looks like it's going to be a bit more challenging. We're still gonna be able to eliminate some based on the first rule, but not, um, not all of them except the right answer. Okay, so uh, the first song in the sequence, R, S, or V, those are all dance tunes, but we can eliminate F and G. So uh, let's look at these. So R um, being first, uh, then R would be before G, then F would be right after. Not seeing anything immediately wrong with that. Um, S, we would have S space V, so it would have to be S H V. Um, again, nothing immediately wrong with that. Um, but C, we actually can't have V first because H has to be before it, so C is out. So between A and B, let's uh, give those a try. So if it's R, then R will be before G, which means F is the next one. Um, then we have to have S on the other side of F. So V will have to be back there, and our remaining dance tune is X. H has to be before V, and G would be uh, before X. So, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, let's figure out why we can't have S. So S space V. Ooh, right, okay, so um, this space here um, should be H to fulfill rule two, um, and it should be F if we're looking to fulfill rule four. So since we can't fulfill both at the same time, that's not possible. Um, so the correct answer is A. Okay, so um, if you do this game and you have um, trouble with any of the other questions after having reviewed the video, then just let me know and we can go over it in a session or I can make another video.